Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 12212019, December 21st, 2019, 1221, 2121 portal, the third of four 333 portals. Another powerful day of galactic activations. Happy, most amazing and beautiful winter solstice. Now in the northern hemisphere, it's the winter solstice. In the southern hemisphere, it's the summer solstice. So we'll just say the solstice in Capricorn or the Capricornian solstice. For in the winter or the December 21st solstice, the sun rises on the Tropic of Capricorn. And in the summer solstice or the june 21st solstice sun stillness the sun rises in the tropic of cancer so today in this capricorn energy we are feeling these intense waves of galactic energy flowing through the field through our awareness through our consciousness through our sacred vessel this holy temple Many things coming through the field. The Schumann, there was a whiteout spike in the charts today as the Schumann resonated at 35 hertz. Many earthquakes, over 161 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, M1.5 or greater. 5.2, largest earthquake in what is called the Drake Passage, just south of the most southern tip of South America, the sacred condor, the divine feminine, it is a passage in between South America and Antarctica, right at the tip, the crown, the peak, the sacred South American continent. We had a 4.8 in New Zealand, 4.5 El Salvador, 3.8 Alaska, Philippines 4.9, Japan 4.7, Alaska 4.7, another Two more in Alaska, 5.0 and 4.0. All of these under 76 kilometers depth, depth from 3 kilometers in Alaska, many 10 kilometers. So a lot of these on the surface, these are the subtle, more subtle energies coming through. We also had another person experience and photograph a gigantic planted planet. This time, a couple days ago, the blue planet was seen. The blue kachina, many people are calling this, from the Hopi in Australia. And then two days ago, also large planet in Budapest. Budapest. And one expert called it a failure in the matrix. And I call it the revelation. All things are being revealed. The veil is thinning. The veil is lifting. Also, two nights ago at 2.20 a.m., one of our divine bro stars of the light, Dr. G. Patrick Flanagan, transitioned to the higher realms to assist us on this ascension process from the higher dimensions. Dr. P uh, Patrick Flanagan was a genius light worker that brought us many of the sciences. You can check out his website, phi sciences, p h i sciences.com. He passed. Two nights ago at 2.20 a.m. in his home in sacred Ecuador. And from Deepak Chopra about Patrick's passing. Patrick Flanagan was a spiritual and scientific genius, an extraordinary human being with unlimited compassion and love in his heart. I'm grateful to have known him in this thin slice of cosmic time. He helped my own personal spiritual journey with his insight and friendship. I wish him happy trails on his continued journey. There's many interviews and lectures from Dr. Flanagan on YouTube. You can look him up, F-L-A-N-A-G-A-N, -A -A if you haven't heard of him. So many light warriors, warriors of the light, transitioning in these final days of the false matrix to assist humanity and all star seeds through this great awakening, what we're calling the great awakening or the manifestation of heaven on earth, or what is being called the new earth. Today's first transmission from Ulrich Agard, the 1221 Golden Divine Gateway opens to the higher frequencies 
of the solar cosmic Christ light. Infinite waves of solstice blessings, let us celebrate the return of the light. A very high frequency energy is flooding the earth and bringing blessings and magic. This is an invocation that you can do for the solstice. I, and state your name, invoke the 2112 Solar Cosmic Christ Light key codes of light to pass through every atom, cell, electron within this form of mine, flowing through, filling and renewing every cell of my mind and body right now to fully enter and anchor into all parts of me, releasing my highest potential, divine alchemy occurring, new light codes are activated, and so it is. From Mary Ann Byrne, the winter solstice is a sacred time infused with magic and light, in which the universe gifts us with wonderful new opportunities, sheds light, and rekindles hope in our lives as we welcome a new cycle. By releasing and letting go of old patterns which no longer serve us, we can move forward holding the possibility for bright new beginnings within our hearts. By acknowledging and giving thanks for all the beautiful experiences that have enriched our lives and our souls throughout the past year, we can begin our journey as we prepare with great joy and anticipation for the year ahead. And from Judith Cousel, what if you were standing in front of a huge portal a massive golden door. As the portal opens up, you see in front of you a vast and most amazing landscape unfolding, a new way of life, a life harmony, peace, serenity, and living from the heart and soul. What if the guardians of this portal ask of you only one thing, that you shed your old life, your old ways of thinking, acting, being, and assume a new and higher frequency, body and heart filled with love, peace, serenity, and living from the heart and soul, and you have to commit 100% to that. Would you agree to that? That is what we are asked to do at this moment in time. The choice is yours. From Judith Cousel and from Celia Fenn, 2112-2019, December Solstice. The solstice is that moment when the earth returns on its journey around the sun. It represents a shift of the seasonal energies and a celebration of light. In the southern hemisphere it is the longest day and the shortest night, celebrating the power of the two suns, the solar system sun Solaris and the great central sun at the galactic center. In the northern hemisphere where it is winter, the solstice represents the shortest day and the longest night. Here there is a celebration for the rebirth of the light as the days begin to lengthen on their journey towards summer. In the galactic year, the solstice also represents the midpoint of the 2019-2020 time cycle as the spiral swings around and begins its time-space journey back to the zero point which is 25th, 26th of July 2020 in the galactic calendar. So as you reach this point, you will hold in your awareness a consciousness of shifting and returning to the point of renewal as a result of the deep consciousness diamond light body connection with the galactic council. You all also hold in your deep consciousness all the codes and information you will need for the next six months as you journey in this cycle, which completes in July 2020 and renews on the 25th, 26th July, and when the new time spiral for the new earth is activated at the 88 Lions Gate portal, the royal lions of Sirius and Regulus, who are the guardians of the 88 time portal, will be present with you as you celebrate this special and sacred transit. Their powerful presence will assist you in this month as you remember the sacred galactic year and its connections with your galactic starseed and angelic families. From Channel with Archangel Michael, Celia Fenn. And from Sri and Kara, the harmony of your divine nature, solstice unity, and divine harmony. The third cycle of December, 21 to 30, is here in the deep reflection, plus choice will once more come forward during this time as the culminating moments of 2019 offer amplification of the energies that are present. The solstice is offering unity of your divine nature through the harmony of the sacred union of the soul with the mind and body. 
Attention to your physical self is a blessing that you will offer that will offer you greater understanding and compassion for all beings. The root center of the physical body is asking, Do you feel safe and are you willing to trust me to assist you? Pay deep attention to this question and reflect upon it through the wider angle lens of the ascended presence within. Safety is more than a single faceted energy. It is a vast and all-encompassing. When it resides within the first chakra, it is also asking you to say yes to your divine nature. This is the gift of this solstice, the yes to you, the acknowledgement of the blessing of your divine nature and the harmony that is ready to sing through the sacred union of your trust. Oneness is an experience and claiming oneness is a choice. Are you aware of the energies that are playing out around you now and inviting you to pay closer attention? The perfection is truly here as the week ahead offers a unified presence of Hanukkah, Christmas, and Kwanzaa all overlapping with strong energy. This is a moment with amplification energy that is new and can be challenging. It is time to celebrate the solstice today as your heart calls. Begin with the deep reflection of knowing without doubt you are safe when you invite your soul to lead. This is the blessing of self-ascension and it is yours to claim with even greater clarity today. As this pyramid of spiritual awakening illuminates, the reflection that is arising is one that is power-filled and affecting the chakras in dynamic ways. From Sri and Kara.com and from Astro Mama, Winter Summer Solstice, the will to move forward, ancestral assistance, tremendous change plus healing. Happy winter summer solstice, everyone. Today, 1221, the sun, which rules the ego, vitality, and life force, moves into the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, the 10th zodiac sign, deals with destiny, authority, obligation, responsibility, and the patriarch. Today marks the shortest, longest day of the year as we transition into a new season. Solstice energy is always a powerful time of transition and the will to move forward. We have now entered into the cardinal earth element. Cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn represent movement, action, and leadership. As the sun enters Capricorn's lair, we are being encouraged to dig deep into your past to find clues about our future. The energy could feel rather heavy and dense. This is one of the most significant solstices due to the fact that we are now under a, a week away from the powerful solar eclipse in Capricorn. There is a destined change of course on the horizon, major karmic lessons are being learned, and while we might want to hold off on receiving these intense experiences, Divine has other plans. We are being asked to trust the process and release what no longer serves our highest path. Solstice is a sacred time for prayer and deep reflection. How can we move forward if we aren't willing to face what once held us down? Divine is asking us to forgive and release. There are miracles on the other side of this repression. Surrender, surrender, surrender. There is only love on the other side of this grief. Trust and believe. Solstice time is here to provide divine healing and a new chapter of grace and strength. Move forward, but don't be afraid to give up. People, situations, or paths that aren't serving your divinity. Spirit is encouraging us to heal our inner child wounding. It is time to step up and proclaim our sovereignty. This winter, summer solstice is here to allow magical and profound change to enter your life. Only if you allow and receive it. Solstice time conjure, conjures deep release of the past, the will and the strength to move forward, and the protection and love from your angels and spirit guides. And from the Zolkin times, right, white rhythmic wind. Rhythmic is the name for the number six, and its key words are balance, organize, and equality. This is the sixth day of the Red Earth Wave Spell. Day six is all about getting organized and sorting out our life. Take care of bills, housework, shopping, etc. To be balanced, one must walk the talk and take care of business at the same time. We are spiritual beings, of course, but with a body and a life that needs to be taken care of. Being practical is an important grounding ritual that frees up your mind for more interesting things. So get it done. 
Today is white wind and its key words are communication, spirit, and breath. Today is the perfect day for organizing communication. Think about how your life could be better organized and think about how better you could express your needs. And from Christina Papagiorgio, White Rhythmic Wind, Kin 162, 21 December 2019, Solstice, 21 12 2019, 21 12 12, 333 equal 9, another huge triple divinity portal, completing the gateway since 1212. 21 Crown of Magi, Victory, Honors, Future Advancement, 3 Holy Trinity, Divinity, Joy, Creativity, 9 Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Closure, Kin 162 equal 9, Double 9, Divine Destiny Portal, another super divine day allowing spirit to guide our transformation, Day 6 in the Red Earth Wave Spell of Evolution, through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicity, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia, today we are listening, communicating, and breathing life and spirit into our physical bodies in order to organize for greater balance in our physical realities. Today we are organizing our physical reality for balance and equality, a fantastic day for spring cleaning, Journaling or reflecting on your goals and dreams, it is time to allow your dreams to surface and flow through you, bringing them forth into your physical reality. Today's question is, how can I allow the breath of spirit to flow through me to bring more balance and equality into my life? Divine blessings for brilliant revelations today through channeling spirit's messages. And from the Dream Spell Journey by Volume Votan and Balonik, Kin 162, the Rhythmic Chamber of Spirit, seven solar years since the conclusion of the 13th Maya Bakhtun cycle. Today's Kin 162, Rhythmic Wind, six wind, marks seven solar rings since the conclusion of the Maya 13th Bakhtun cycle on the solstice date of 21 December 2012. Long count 13.0.0.0.0. Maya real time, 4, a jaw. Dream time, kin 207, crystal hand. In the same way, this date marked the beginning of the all new 14th Maya Bakhtun cycle, which we are currently transversing, as well as the beginning of a new grand cycle of 13 Bakhtun. Today's Kin 162, Six Wind, is a mirror of the sign Six Ik, Six Wind, in the ancient Maya Zolkin count real time. Exactly Six Ik is the combined power of the Maya signs of Jose Volomvotan and Loidin Balonik, the messengers of the new time who issued the call for the Harmonic Convergence 1987, thus creating awareness about the great Maya cycles. Maya real time, Volomvotan, 10. Chikchan, Kin 205, Balonik, 9, Kab An, Kin 217, equal 422, minus 260, equal 162, equal 6, Ik, 6 wind. Today's Kin 162, 6 wind, also marks 1436 years since the ascension of the Lady Yol Eknal, heart of the wind place, to the throne of Lakamak, Palenque. She was the grandmother or great-grandmother of Pakal, also known for being the first female ruler inscribed in the Maya history. According to the inscriptions of House C. Nak Chan as the palace of Lakmama, Palenque, the queen Yol Iknal was defeated and humiliated by the snake kingdom of Ka'an in the year 599 A.D. The same inscriptions inform that 60 years later, the King Pakal defeated the archenemy of his dynasty in 659 AD and then built the military house C where he inscribed his victory against the snake lineage. Synchronically, Pakal dedicated the house C on 22 December 661 AD. Therefore, the solstice is marking 1,358 years since the dedication of Na Chan, first house of heaven. Kin 162, White Rhythmic Wind. The mantra for the day, the code is, I organize in order to communicate. Balancing Breath. 
I seal the input of spirit with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by my own power doubled. And there we have it for today. Bro stars and sisters of the light have a magnificent and wonder-filled Capricorn solstice of the new earth. Let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your visions, your vision for the new earth, and through these galactic activation portals from the 333 into the 2020 as we transition through the third of the four 333 portals to the 1230-2019 through the solar eclipse 25 into 26 of December 2019. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click subscribe button below this video, and click the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future updates. I'd like to also thank everyone joining us on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center, the blueprint for healing retreat centers and sustainable communities around this realm. The first of our team's mission in Ecuador, South America, in the foothills of the sacred Andes Mountains. We're looking for land with a sacred cave and a natural hot spring. If you know of this land, please send us information to info at primedisclosure.com. If you'd like to learn more about this mission, you can join us at primedisclosure.com and click Tao de Ecuador, Healing Retreat Center, at the top of the page. So have a beautiful and blessed and most healing and awakening solstice of all eternity. I love you all. Namaste.